Good afternoon everybody. Welcome to Painted Dog TV. It's a gorgeous afternoon out here. As you can see, sun's out. There's been a bit of rain about today. The wind is howling. There might even be more rain on its way. But for the time being, folks, it's an absolutely gorgeous afternoon. Myself and Basil out here with you this this afternoon and um, we just were, we've just actually left camp five minutes ago and we wanted to come pop down to the southern fence here. I wanted to see if I could find any sign of the male cheetah. They were seen down here yesterday afternoon. And so Mumba Dam is just off here to my right, only 300 yards away. So we went past Mumba Dam, nobody there. Came down the next road towards the fence line here. And look who we have bumped into everybody. Completely unexpected. Such an amazing start to our afternoon here on the Reach Sprout Game Reserve. All three male lions are sleeping here. Obviously only one in picture right now. His two brothers are sleeping just behind him. And when I say sleeping, you'd swear they were almost dead. That's how asleep these lions are, everybody. We've been here now with them for five minutes and there's been zero movement whatsoever. They are very happy, very comfortable male lions. I think it's a nice combination of the very cool breeze and then the bit of sunlight that's, well, at least hitting this one male lion. He is very happy where he is. The other two just behind him in the shade. We'll maneuver shortly just to go have a look, see if we can see the other two better. But uh, just a quick hello to our pack members that have joined us this afternoon. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Hello, Di. Hello, Betty. Hello, Mary. Hello, Carol. Hello, Willow. Good afternoon, Barbara. Hello, Jan. Hello, Brian. Good afternoon, Kennedy Ann. very warm welcome to all of you. I think I said hello to everybody. Thank you so much for joining us, everyone. We love having you with us and love sharing these amazing sightings here on the Reed Spread Game Reserve with you. Sleeping lions. Been lucky with that quite a lot actually lately. We've had a couple afternoon drives where we've got started and Quite literally stumbled into the males sleeping close to us here along the southern fence of the reserve close to camp. They obviously patrol the entire reserve but they spend a lot of time on the southern and eastern fence line and that's probably got to do with the lions of the Blue Canyon Conservancy, the other side of the fence here. They obviously react to their roaring quite regularly and that's what brings them out here. Ah, purple crested Tarocco calling in the river, the other side of the fence here. That's an exquisite bird. Very distinctive call. Before I forget everybody, I just wanted to announce the key word for this week is mountains. So if you want to get your hands on that high resolution image from Painted Dog TV, Please enter or send in the keyword mountains. That'll be our keyword for this week, everybody. Just heard something. It's weird, it almost sounded like a branch breaking off to our right.
Welcome back everybody. Sorry for the break up there. Not too sure what happened. But uh, VM at FC has made a quick fix. So hopefully no more gremlins this afternoon. You may notice that the male lion has shifted his body to the other side. There has been... Exactly, Mary. I think that's exactly what it is. It's just, you know, like I say, the, the perfect combination of a bit of warmth from the sun and a lovely cool.
Welcome back everybody. VM's fighting gremlins. Sorry about that folks. Not too sure what's happened. It's funny how there's new gremlins every week. But we hope that this time we've got it right. And finally, a bit of life from one of our male lions here. Incredible watching them groom like this. They certainly do have a lot of mobility in that neck. I think about doing, I'm busy practicing that motion now and it's giving me a stiff neck just attempting that. See the whole bunch of other folks that have joined us. Good afternoon, Becky. Hello, Ian.
Welcome back. We're trying this again. Sorry, everybody. We had to race back to FC so that Liam could uh, work his magic uh, on the camera. We believe the issue has been sorted. So fingers crossed now, folks. Of course, left the lions. And in the short amount of time that I have left those lions, there's a mob of vehicles that have descended on our find. So for those of you that didn't see any lions, I do apologize. We're probably not going to be able to make our way back in there just yet. Maybe we'll be able to come back there a bit later, but that's okay. We'll find other things. Hopefully these gremlins are done now. Hello Becky, how are you? Hello Rosemary, welcome. <laughs> Imitation of me grooming like a male lion. I don't think I'm going to be able to pull that one off. But I was just saying, like, the way that he can extend his neck like that and groom down towards, you know, the, the start of the belly here on the sternum, quite remarkable. Of course, he's got a tongue about four times the length of mine. So he's got a bit more reach than me. Who's that in there? Bushbuck or Nyala? Oh, it's some beautiful Nyala, everybody. Look at that. A young one as well. So pretty. There's a big male that's about to come out here as well. You get Nyala bull following the girls. they go into the thick bush. That's why we don't see them all that often, the Nyala. They love this dense woodland that you often find along the banks of the rivers. And probably even more so today because of the heavy wind. I see that someone, who was it? It was Carol, made mention of the Cheetah Boys. I'm with you on that one, Carol. Let's see if we can find the boys. I'm going to head back to the southern fence. We'll have to go past the point of where the lions are sleeping. There's no change there, by the way. They're still sleeping, which is not surprising. The females, the pride, have been located on Kaya again this afternoon, everybody. So unfortunately, I don't think there's any chance of us seeing the pride. Kevin's busy trying to locate the herd of elephants who are also playing hide and seek in a drainage line not far from where we saw the leopard the other night. Again, not surprising because of the wind. They're taking shelter from a very strong gust this afternoon. 
like I say, everybody, we're gonna we're gonna head to the southern fence. We'll just take the, the next road. So the lions are down here. But we'll take the next road and just come along the southern fence line. I just want to check to see if someone hasn't already checked there. One of the other vehicles may have checked the southern fence on the way to the lions. Have any stations checked the fence line between Snay Lane and uh, Madrid Putt this afternoon? Okay, copy that. Thanks, gentlemen. Did anybody have any tracks of those male cheetah? I, I saw them yesterday morning, uh, west of us, on the on the side. They were laying down on a small bending line. Okay, copy that. Thanks very much. Well, there we go, everybody. A couple of vehicles have driven the southern fence line to get to those lines and they have seen no tracks and certainly no cheetah. So we'll have to go somewhere else to find our boys. Maybe they're headed to Leipot Dam. That's a possibility. I think let's go have a look there because their last position was directly south of the road that leads us to Leipot Dam. So I think let's do that everybody. We'll go past Leipot Dam next. See if there's any tracks in that area. They might have gone that way. We'll also just monitor Kevin and my brother, uh, both searching for the elephants this afternoon. If they have any joy there, I'll definitely divert that direction. Would love to spend some time with the elephants, with all of you. But like I say, let's start at Leopard Dam then. See if the boys have gone that way. Good afternoon, Suzanne. Lovely to have you with us. Hope you are having a lovely day. We certainly are. It's a beautiful afternoon. Had a brief sighting of some male lions before a whole bunch of gremlins took over Painted Dog TV for about 15 minutes. But the show is back on the road. And for those of you who may have missed it, the keyword for the week is mountains, everybody. Mountains. If you want to get your hands on that high resolution image? Please send in the keyword mountains. See the bird, Basil? Mm -hmm. Oh, just jump, jump down to the lower branch. Oh, jumping away. Oh. I don't know if anybody got to see that. It's a bit dark in there. Let's see if I go forward if we can... Ah, it's flown off again. Anyway, good effort. Basil, good effort. That was a brief sighting of a golden-breasted bunting, everybody. Spectacular little bird, beautiful colors love the streaking on the head and of course this beautiful golden breast for tracks along here to see if the cheetah boys didn't come up this way. We're running parallel to the southern fence line which is off to my right here and that's where they were last, a little bit further up ahead so they would have, my guess is, would have crossed this road we're on now. The only problem with this road it's like the highway of the Reedsbreak Game Reserve. There's a lot of vehicle traffic along here, so 
it would be hard to spot the tracks. Vehicles would have driven over all of them. But that's why I want to go down the next road towards Lake Bud Dam. So this next road that cuts to the right here to the fence is where these cheetah males were yesterday. Now the male lions would have walked along the fence line towards the cheetah sometime last night they would have been roaring and so I think the cheetah would have just decided to then move away from the fence entirely knowing the routine of these male lions. Elephants were here yesterday as well you can see here where they've been digging up sand Elephants were here dust bathing. That was sometime yesterday. some audio gremlins there everybody but you would have seen on picture where the elephants had been digging up the soil back there sometime yesterday I would imagine those elephants were here dust bathing next to the road and I've just come to this point here to see if I can see any cheetah tracks and 
I don't see anything here. So we're going to head down to the dam now, everybody. Oh, certainly Betty be very easy to miss these cheetah tall grass incredible camouflage and if they're lying down it's very tough and they might they probably will be lying down it's very windy which is unsettling for the cheetah slowly make our way down the hill now towards Lake Bud Dum, see if there's any tracks of them headed that way. Some birds alarm calling in here to the left, some forktail drongos alarm calling. able to hear the commotion there now of these drongos. They do alarm call for lots of different things, not just the big predators but the smaller ones too. It's always worth just pausing, have a look around, see if you don't see anything moving. of course be something like a leopard or a cheetah. My curiosity's got the better of me everybody. I'm just going to take a short walk in here. Just have a look. Birds have gone quiet now.
didn't see anything in there folks the birds have also moved on an unknown but likely something small copy that thank you might get lucky with the hippos here at Lake Badam this afternoon everybody and a lovely sighting of them here a couple of days back No tracks of the cheetah. I don't think they came this way. get excited when I approach this water hole. Always hoping something special is going to be drinking here. Or 
something rather less often seen. Try and approach as quietly as possible. I know that the black rhino come to drink here regularly. Leopard. Oh, the hippos are certainly here. That's very nice. Certainly is a beautiful spot. A gorgeous afternoon once again everybody. And there are our two lovely hippos, mom and calf. Safe and sound in one of their favorite water holes. I'm just busy using my binoculars now to scan the thickets above the water just to make sure there's not a leopard sitting here watching us concealed in the tree line. Won't be long, of course, before the two of them venture out of the water to head off grazing.
Welcome back everybody to this beautiful spot. The pesky gremlins snuck in again. Viam assures me it's not the same problem we had before however. So something new scrambled everything but uh, we are back and we didn't leave this amazing spot here at Lake Baddam. It's hard to leave this spot particularly at this time of the day. It is just so picturesque. So relaxing just sitting here listening to the birds, watching the hippos, and watching the clouds roll by. We'll move on shortly, but we'll maybe just give it a couple more minutes to enjoy this, everybody. you just never know what might turn up while you sat at a waterhole like this. even more stunning with the sound of the wind through the trees it's the type of natural sounds you just want to record and play when you get into bed at night fall asleep to these sounds for the very lucky people that do come out on the private safaris out here. This is exactly what they fall asleep to. Absolute peace and quiet. Again, there's a, to answer your question, there's a whole bunch of different frogs that will probably still be around this waterhole. In the water itself, however, it's only really the platana, a species that lives in the mud at the bottom of the dam, the bottom of the waterhole. It surfaces quite regularly for air, but it'll lay its eggs and feed in the water. But around the periphery you'll have lots of different species of grass frog, painted reed frog, um, foam nest frogs. You'll get lots of toads, red toads, guttural toads that'll come down here. Basil's just spotted a pair of little three-banded plovers. come down for their supper. This 
so pretty in that rich red and orange light. Sun's just set. Ian, I see you've asked, are they nocturnal? Are you referring to the birds, the three melanin plovers? And if you are, no. They'll roost at night in the trees close to the water's edge here. Unless they have eggs. So they lay their eggs in a little scrape, usually very close to the water's edge. But if they're not on eggs, then yeah, like I say, they roost in the trees at night. But if it was the frogs you were referring to, some of them are nocturnal. And some of them only active during the day. But most of them active at night. Can't hear any of them calling yet. everybody we are going to bid farewell to this beautiful scene let's keep moving along slowly and see who else we might bump into this evening nightfall is approaching so we know that the nocturnal creatures are starting to stir This was very special, sitting here for a while. Very special indeed.
going to head up towards Kudu Krip from here. Another little water hole. Just go have a scratch around there to see if there's any tracks. And then push on further to the west, everybody, towards the Deep Slurt River. Hoping for leopard, of course. But just taking a different route this evening. See what else we might stumble upon. spotted hyenas. It's been a while since we've seen them as well. Still see tracks every now and then. They're still active here on the reed spread. seeing little paw prints on the road here everybody that I that's been catching my eye <coughs> so African civet African civet's tracks they are not from this evening they are from last night walked up this way would be very chuffed if we saw one of them tonight I had a brief sighting of one not too long ago and then bumped into an elephant and lost sight of the civet. I'm very happy to hear that. Full disclosure, I also needed this. I've had a heck of a day. It's amazing how when I come out here, it just settles the mind. I've been a very lucky man to always have had that in my life for the last 14 years. Just every single day, come and spend a couple of hours out here in the bush. Don't need to see a thing. Just to admire nature's beauty and smell the beautiful smells and 
listen to the birds and the winds through the tree. too far from Kudu Krip now, this little water hole. Often get rhino coming to drink at this time of the day as well, their last drink before they settle in for the night.
I must say, I don't have all that much luck at this water hole. Could do crip. Certainly come past here enough. It's been a while though since we found something here. I think the last time it was maybe the lions, the pride. That certainly was a wonderful sighting. Always worth checking that, always worth coming to investigate to see who's come and gone. Tracks of rhino, zebra, monkeys, and kudu around the water hole, all of which were here today. Not all that recently, though. Come on, little Kudu Crip 2 3 Leopard. We're in your territory now. Time for you to show yourself. She, of course, will already be active, patrolling her territory and hunting.
Ah, there's a giraffe up ahead. Beautiful big male. On a mission. Maybe he's picked up on the scent of some females nearby. lovely sighting. It's not really stopping to browse on anything, that male giraffe, so it's probably picked up on the scent of a female or a group of females. A female leopard track here. Yeah. Very wind swept female leopard track right here. That'll be her. We do crypt two three. A couple of vehicles have driven over these tracks today. Presumably these tracks are from last night, possibly early this morning. Just going to try to see where she went from here before I lose all of the light. Looks like she was turning. She went to drink at Kudukrup, or at least headed that direction last night. Didn't see her tracks back there. But something to work on, everybody. might still be in the area here.
very cool that Jana will be doing a drive later this week. I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun. Right, let's just do a slow loop around this block here, everybody, and see if we don't get lucky with this little female leopard. Nightjar on the road here, just up ahead. Oh, don't go. I'm not going to shine the bright light on this nightjar, everybody, because it's quite powerful, but at the same time, it will spook the bird. Look at that. Such a pretty little thing. most likely a fiery neck nightjar, they're the most common out here. So difficult to identify on markings alone. Goodbye Suzanne, thank you so much for joining us. Lovely stuff, eh? Little night jar. Also just getting started this evening, searching for bugs. Little insects crossing the road here.
just busy going past a herd of impala here on my right everybody I'm not going to shine on them again don't want to disturb them but this is of course a perfect target for that leopard There's an abundance of impala in her territory here very very thick bush that we're driving through here so perfect habitat for her to you know conceal herself while she's stalking her prey lots of good cover So just driven past a little common dacre, another prey species for the leopard. Certainly no shortage of food around for those cats. Medium to small sized antelope is what they prefer hunting.
not seen any tracks of this little leopard yet along here. So the Sunslot River is just here to our left. And I think she goes in there quite a lot. It's where I've left my camera trap. We're actually almost directly opposite where that camera trap is now. I've often found tracks of a female leopard in there, so hopefully, fingers crossed, we might have footage of this leopard. I was chatting to Andrew about it today, I think we'll go and collect that camera trap on Wednesday. Just suss it out and see what's come past. definitely headed this way last night, judging by the tracks we found earlier. Kudu Krip again here, everybody. Before we start heading a bit further to the south. Imagine she's sitting up on this concrete block for us now. <laughs> that would be too good. done it before. Nope. She's not there. Worth a bash. I've just got word now from FC everybody. I think a couple of the crew members went out a little bit later in the afternoon to go sit with those male lions that I found earlier. And it sounds like those male lions are on their way to Mumba Dam, the waterhole close by to where they were and close by to our camp. So I'm just going to pick up the pace a little bit here, everybody. I'd like to try get there and see what they're up to. Another update there from Andrew who's in FC right now. He says that one of the male lions is still sleeping or rather roaring from the same position where I found them on the southern fence line and then one of the brothers went to Mamba Dam or headed towards Mamba Dam for a drink so we're gonna shoot across that way now everybody head to Mamba Dam Go see what those male lions are up to. Uh, 
Andrew or VM, can you confirm is any of the teams still with the Lions or are they unattended? station go again are there any stations still with the male lions I don't believe so I'm making my way there now to try to relocate well, we're on the fence line on Snow Lane uh, heading east uh, we'll let you know if we pick them up copy that you're heading east. The, station, uh, the, the lines were on the Madrid junction with the southern fence line on the Madrid path. Um, so the best if you understand they will have to go um, southwest. Copy, thank you. Sounds like another vehicle also headed that way, everybody. to avoid another night show on the road there everybody it's quite sad a lot of these night jars get hit by the vehicles it's never intentional of course but you don't see them early enough and turn your brights off turn your headlights off you end up blinding them and they just sit dead still hoping they you know that you not going to see them because of their camouflage and you end up just driving over the poor things. So you just need to turn your headlights off and move slightly across from their position and then they fly off. Good evening Mauritia, glad you could join us, never too late, 
hopefully we're about to find the lions again we believe they must be close to Mamba Dam that's where the team members of mine left them about 10 minutes ago they we're roaring doing what they do best stamping their authority they might already be on the march again so I wouldn't be surprised at all if we bump into them somewhere along here because we are getting close to Mamba Dam now bumped into them yet so maybe they are still lying up at the water hole here let's go have a look see definitely see tracks of one of those males walked along here to the water I see a lion now lying in the middle of the road here everybody dead ahead of us getting up and moving on. I see his other brother is further up the road here. Located on two of the male lions, they're on Hoofpat, very close to Mamba Dam, Mobile West. You can just make out. Yes, did you ever find the cheetah? Just make out his brother beyond him there. No negative, I had no signs of them. Probably where he's off to next to go and uh, maybe not. I can see my brother. 
I'm happy here. Standing by. Guys, we're heading down Madrid, but towards Wolf, but um, we're about probably probably about three minutes out. Copy that. Make your way. Oh, nice big yawn there. Sucking in lots of oxygen before he gets going for the night. Ian, yes indeed, that's why the nightjars are on the road. Searching for insects. A lot easier for them to see insects moving around on the open road, of course, so they're very clever. They've worked that out. So they reuse the roads all the time to search for insects. job of grooming himself before his long walk that's about to begin. I can't see brother number three yet, which I would assume is the injured male lion. He often obviously has a much slower start to his two fitter brothers. Might even be drinking at Mamba Dam. They're just Becky. It's quite scary seeing the size of these male lions paws. They are massive. Cheers, Rosemary. Thank you for joining us. Have a wonderful evening or day. We'll see you soon. He's just raised his head.
I'm just using my binoculars now to have a look. It's definitely the injured male who's not with us. Oh, there he is. He is with us. He's just about to say, let's go have a look at the water and see if he's still having a drink. But there's no need for that. <clears throat> still in very close touch with his brothers, which is just so wonderful to see. He's got his head up, listening for other lions, listening for prey. Pleasure, Ian. Thank you for joining us. It's really been another very enjoyable afternoon. brothers to greet and just to maybe get some grooming. They're looking a lot skinnier again these lines. I reckon they'll definitely be hunting tonight. Left leg hovering there. It's still very painful. Not, not entirely recovered, but he certainly is doing well to keep up. Very well. some scent marking up against that quarry tree. Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. They love marking the quarries. It holds their scent for longer. Let's just move up a little bit closer, see what he's up to. You might have also found water up there. With the recent rains, there's a little mitre drain that often catches water here. Oh no. 
always roaring. Interesting roar. Certainly wasn't a full blown roar. And neither of his brothers are interested in joining in. Our pleasure, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us and sticking with us through our gremlins, the start of drive. Thanks to VM for sorting it out. Thank you, Basil. <coughs> what a lovely way for us to end our evening, folks. Have a wonderful day everybody, a wonderful evening, wherever you are in the world. We are going to say goodnight, leave these beautiful males to their mission this evening. And we will be back very soon. Thanks everybody, have a good one.